ready to roll. Yeah, I, I was muted. <laughs> nope. All right, cool. It's back. Um, I, I was just muted for a second while I was setting up the audio. <laughs> okay. Papa, um, can you let's hear go ahead and pull me? these keys back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right? All right. Um, well, we're going to need some initiatives from you guys. To start okay, this here's my off. first 20. Can so let's go ahead, Mice. Mm. Um, uh, dirty 20. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Sorry there, Christy. Um, and are you rolling your initiative a second time, Jane? Oh, yeah. Because it's a thing you get Thanks to do. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, I'll take the first one. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're on a twenty. Okay. Well, let's roll some weasel initiatives. And my weasels are going on a seventeen. Okay. All right. So, as the band of weasels charge forward, um, screeching loudly. Um, what do you wish to do, Lyra? I'm going to attack all of them. Volley! Using volley. <laughs> okay. Uh, which basically I can choose a point and attack everything within 10 feet. So basically so, you get to make a single attack against each and every weasel. That is correct. I'm start. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, clockwise here, starting with the white weasel in the front. Okay, the leader weasel. <laughs> the leader weasel, leader weasel? yes. Yes. Like later, Hudson. Okay. <laughs> uh, Thirteen. The first arrow thuds into the ground. Uh, okay. Wow. The second oh. arrow thuds into the ground. The there third arrow catches Terrible. his target. So that would be this guy <laughs> here, right? Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Wow. Twenty-nine. Uh, that one hits as well. And last arrow. Ooh. And that one hits as well. Wow. Okay, so the My last teams. three weasels all receive piercing damage from your volley of arrows as they come flooding out of the sky. And then... Um, I would like to move um, behind the stock here, corn stock. Okay. And um, I use uh, my hide in plain sight. I can just remain perfectly still. And if they try to detect me, they get a negative 10 penalty to insight wisdom checks. Okie dokie. So you basically just dive in amongst the corn storks and hide. Fair enough. A fifany. Yes, I am going to... Uh take a, a step forward here next to my uh, compatriot. Okay. And I am, oh, uh, yes, I'm going to cast slow on the whole lot of them. <laughs> and I'm going to go, okay. Pilor says stop! Just like that, and I'm going to cast <laughs> slow. All right, you alter time around up to six creatures, and there are five of them, so that counts for it's all of them. Yes. Um, okay, Wisdom and effective target 17. speed is halved, and they get minus two AC and dex saving throws. Um, let's see here. On its turn, it can use either an action or a bonus action, not both. Uh, if a creature attempts to cast a spell, casting time of one action, roll a d20 on 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect. And a creature affected by the spell makes another wisdom save at the end of each of its turns. Okay. Um, so what is your... 17. DC 17? Correct. Okay, let's go ahead and roll saving throws for all these little weasels. Uh, we'll go in the same order that we did with Jane. So, white weasel up front, fails. Hey. The next weasel round, fails. Weasel three, fails. <laughs> Dumbass. Weasel nice. four. <laughs> or weasels. Fails. And weasel five. Come on, all five! Five! Yeah. You got a clean yeah. sweep. Okay, every weasel. Um, is in fact slowed. So they suddenly go and start moving a lot slower. Um, minus two penalty to AC and dexterity bonuses. That's good for you guys. So that was your 
That was your action. Do you wish to do anything with your movement? Um, yeah, and uh, I, I was just taking a step forward for flavor. I guess I would. I after casting that, I would have said, "All right, everyone, f- come on, let's take a few, take a few steps back now. Come on now, come on, y'all. I'm gonna grab, um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab uh, Fennifer by her by her milk. Come on, come on now, come on, okay. and move um, back in this direction." All righty. Um, the weasels 30. get to move yeah. next. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, he is able to move to there. The others will move up pretty much in the same ilk as they have. Um, Okay, he can make a... Basically, he can make an, uh, an action or a bonus action. Um, so he will make a single attack on Miss Fennifer. Okay, he swings his little sword, which kind of goes, and you're very easy able to go. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Uh, okay, um, and that's all they get to do this turn. Um, start of their next turn, they'll make a saving throw to try to bust out of that. Um, and... Plasticus. Uh, you also know slow is concentration, so you have to keep doing Correct. that if you want to... Okay. Yep. Alright, Plasticus. A mute You're muted, Plasticus. He's muted. I'm uh... gonna first cast unmute. Right? Action. You can hear action. What I now say. What action. Free action. <laughs> All right. I am going to cast the old, good old Kieliana Fireball. Ooh. And I have no idea. The, does the range equate to Meister? Because we're all tiny. Uh, basically, so, everything. What I've done is rather than. Christmas boy. Um, rather than try to rescale everything. Okay. We're using the exact same scale, but in in the real world, if anyone was to watch it transpire, it would all be scaled down to my size. It but would look ridiculous. Re- but in ridiculous. the interest of not reworking the entire mechanics of D and D, all right. Yes. So just just to be, I mean, because I know better than to pull up my friend. I would actually cast fireball behind it, well, like uh, where they were. I mean, so pop up fireball. Okay. Yes. So it's a twenty foot range, a twenty foot radius. So, but, and this is the reason I say that is because of distinctions, and I, I point this out for people if they're between the, uh, between right le- um, editions. D and D five E is very specific. So if it says you have to target an enemy or target a creature it means exactly that right by uh, the fireball however allows you to target a point um within range um, yeah i'm so you you can indeed pick the ground and i'm saying that so people don't go oh, no you have to you have to hit a target you do not you can choose the ground okay yeah i, I choose where they were basically this this okay. box that would be the that box there yeah so right. I probably wouldn't even hit the white guy, the little white. Uh, so it's a 20 foot radius from so. there. I'm going to say it does. It will catch his britches. It's got a tail. It'll get his tail. Yeah. <laughs> and like a wick, you like, you know, up the back of him. <laughs> all right. They all get a deck save, which is a 17. Right. But it's a minus two penalty, right? Yep. So yes, it is because it's low. That's right. So they're only getting. That's fantastic. Dex is their highest save, um, but with the minus. Okay, we'll go around in the same order. One. Fail. Two. Passes. Three. Oh. Passes. Four. And five. Okay, so three of them passed. They take half damage. Yep. So how much damage did you do? 24 fire damage. Okay, so 24 fire damage to the first one. 
Um, and the second to last one. And then 12 to the others. You're making me math. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Hurl that fireball into the mist. And let's see. Here we go. There we go. Alrighty. Um, last but not least, Fennifer. Yay, if I get to play. <laughs> right. Um, I am it's going my to... turn now. I'm going to attack Mr. Leader Weasel right in front Mr. of Mr. Leader Weasel? <laughs> like our Leader Weasel. Okay. Leader, Leader, Leader Weasel. Okay. One. Melee attack. That will bludgeon him for 11. Good. Okay. And then I'm going to do another. Okay. There. And that will miss. And miss. Okay. And then on my first hit, can I add a smite on you that? You can. I'm going to add a... And you're using Mace of Smiting, so... Yes. I'm going to be adding... On. Yeah, the smite damage is already added. Yeah, the original. So you 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 well, already have a smite built in. Smite. So, right. I'm going to add a, right. a special the spell. But you can blinding. add additional smiteness to it. Yes, yes. So to that hit, I'm going to add blinding smite. Okay. There. Alrighty. Um, yep. So um, it does an extra 3d8 radiant damage to the target. Okay. So an extra 15. And then he has to do a con save and He does blinded. indeed. Yeah. I'm going to blind that now. Oh, it's a weasel, but... Weasel. It's a weasel. I could, a I weasel. could do all three of them. That's Alrighty. Cool. And what is the difficulty of your con saves? Oh, shoot. Where do I see that again? Uh, 15. Kind of spell, save DC. He fails. All right. Um, so he is also um, affected as um, blinded. Nice. All right. All righty. Nice. Um, back to the top of the round. Lyra, what do you want to do? Yes. I'm going to do like the move attack move scenario. Like I'm going to run across the, the field here while I do another volley round on them. I want to look really cool doing it, though. Like, do you want to, like, run across and go... <laughs> and then little mouse into the... flips. Oh, like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Mouse tricks. Yeah. Okay. Mouse tricks. <laughs> mouse tricks. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. If you, can, if you have another volley to use, go ahead and use it. Uh, that's a hit, because they have crap ACs now. Uh, that's definitely a hit. Uh, hold on, let me fix this one. Oh, you're going faster. Sorry. That's okay. I'll wait to do the last. <laughs> uh, that was a nine. All right, that was a five. That was an eight. <coughs> and the last it's one here. was a six. Okay, yep, they all hit. Nice. Mass Ninja. Good jobby. Yay. All right, Fiffany. Yep. Uh, do any of them look like a little more battered than the other? Can I make a quick little? Can I? Um, suss the, that out real the quick? one up front is definitely bloodied, and the one kind of back here looks a little worse for wear as well. They're clearly worse than anybody else. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, since the leader is engaged uh, with Fennifer, I am going to. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna do a new one that I haven't used yet. Um, and it is, oh, where is it? I don't know if it's quite as good, but, uh, I just haven't used it yet. So I'm going to use, oh, uh, where is it? I know it's here. Uh, Toll of the Dead. Toll of the Dead? Toll of the Dead. Because it's a, it's a, I want to keep hitting these guys with some wisdom stuff. So okay. mm -hmm. it's a, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, which creature? You said that the, the, uh, the leader. The oh, leader, the, the one, one that, that is fighting 
that Fennifer is engaged with okay, him, so all right. I'm trying to get him off her. All right. Well, first of all, let's give him his wisdom save to see if he does... He has the, the minus, minus two to that as well. Um, why is the minus... Oh, yes. Uh, oh, hang so on. Hang on. Right? No, I don't think he has minus two to that. Does he not to wisdom? Oh, it's not saves? I thought it was. Um, let me see. No, it's deck, deck saves. Just decks. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, deck saves. So he actually does pass. Okay. Um, oh. By one. Boo. Um, well, damn. And... That's it. Oh, and so if he saves, he is... Let's see. Point at one creature you see within range at the sound of the doors. Because if you have a target must stay on the one to save you. Take 1d8 dead product. Every target is missed. Any of his hit points instead take 1d12. Okay, yep. Nothing then. I like the bell yep. implication. Nothing, though. nothing. Yeah. Tell a la. <laughs> okay. Um, in that case, those that can move will move. Um, but before they do that, they have their wisdom saves to make. So let's go ahead and do that. Each one has to make another wisdom save to try to shrug off the effects of the slow. Starting with the first one. Oh, he's getting he's gonna shrug it. Next one. He is not. Next one. He is. Oh, so is he. Let me make little notes on these guys. So. M, 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 okay. Fail, and the last one. Alright, so three out of the five actually get to move normally. Um, so our leader is going to be content to duke it out with Fennifer. Um, the one next to him is slowed, so he is going to make a small move. All right, um, he is going to go to here. You may, if you wish, Fennifer, make an attack of opportunity on him as he runs by. Oh, yeah. If you want to use your bonus action to do that. Ooh, nice! Ooh, you made nice. him pay for that move. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just try to get by me. You can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. A, a good solid whack as he goes by. Um, this guy has got a full move. Um, so he is going to run all the way up here, and he is going to melee engage Lasticus. I don't get an attack. Um, no, you can only make one. Just the one? Okay. Yep. Um, this guy also has a full move. He is going to charge around here. And he is going to engage here. And this guy is only getting a half move. But he is going to just move up to here. Alrighty. Um, so we got some, got some melee fights to do. So first weasel that was already there, he is going to make a couple of attacks. First one, um, he will hit you, Fennifer. Unless 24 doesn't hit, of course. But you might not, because you're kind of pretty robust. You're at 21, no, I think. He gets me, yeah. All right, so that hits, and the second attack will miss. Alrighty. Right. Um, he stabs you with his little jabby thing for a total of nine. Um, so that's about all he does. The one next to him, um, he is not making um, two attacks. He is only making one. Was he at disadvantage because he was blind? Um, oh. White, white which, weasel? Oh um, no no! I let totally, me. You are I correct. Which he, one was attacking he, um, he, no, he passed his. Let's see. He passed his wisdom for movement. Not but, con though. It was a con. No, for, that was uh, the. Let me go back up. Hold on. Uh, where are we at? 
well remembered. But right, uh, that's right, because you did blinding smite. I did a blinding smite. Okay, uh, yeah. in that case, let me re-roll that because he would indeed be. Um, so I'll re-roll the one that hit, which was twenty-four. Well, he has to first su- save his success, right? That's what he's rolling there for. Oh, okay. okay. Fourteen. Nope. So he failed. Got it. Nice. Um, so he didn't hit you. No hit. Thank right. You. The next one. Um, it's me for four hundred damage. Let's see. I rolled him. He 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 got twenty four as well. He hit. <laughs> so he's only hitting once. But he is using a weasel ability. No. God. Oh, what am I doing? Ignore that. I was like, wait. That's not the damage. <laughs> That's quite a weasel ability. <laughs> That's the damage. <laughs> okay, Ooh. he hits you for 14. However, um, when he sticks you, he kind of like uses his other arm to kind of maneuver and he bites down on the cloth of your armor. You're a weird um, weasel now. Sorry, I know how this no. goes. So basically, I know where this goes. I know where it goes. That's supposed to be Matt, not me. Um, so nope. Um, what basically that means is you have to use an action to grapple and throw him off. Otherwise, he auto hits every turn from here on out. Oh, he's a little um, because he is latched onto you and physically attached. So all he has to do is just keep going shh, 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 and just start shanking. Ooh, I don't um, like but that you at can all. use an action. As I said, to grapple him and try to throw him off. Okay, it's um, on my turn or right now? On your turn. Okay, gotcha. All right, over here we have uh, one weasel attacking Lasticus. All right, he is doing the same thing. Uh, uh, that seconds. just hits. Oh. Okay. I told you to back up. And therefore he does. I told y'all back up. I'm not job. Not you. Right, he now, stabs you for 11. Now, I do have a question about this special ability. Uh-huh. Because I have arc- I have an arcane ward, basically, because I cast Mage Armor, okay. which gives me 27 temporary hit points. It's like a buffer. Can he still latch on to me if he doesn't? Yes, because latching on does not do any damage. Okay, it, so but it's just an auto you hit. I see. the 11 points of the stab that he makes. Right, then okay. He's gonna, but then he basically leaps on and grabs on tight. Okay. Um, so you can do the same. You can throw him with a successful grapple on your turn. Sure. Okay. And then last but not least, we have one in the flank that's attacking, and he is going to make two attacks on Ooh. Tiffany. Uh, 24 to 21. Both hit? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Then I will roll the damage combined. Because I know he isn't going to kill you. Nah. A combined damage of 19 points from the weasels. Okay. All right. That is all the attacks from the weasels. Lasticus, you are up. Yes. uh, Being latched changed my strategy a little bit. I am going to Misty Step first um, as a bonus action to basically get the hell out of his... Latch, okay. right? Um, that will automatically unlatch him because he can't co- he doesn't miss his step with you, so you're gonna vanish and reappear. Okay, yes. move yourself within thirty feet that you wanna be. Um I guess it's where I can see, right? So these corn stalks I can't see um, the other row, right? You I mean can kind of see if I, if I through, go here through, yeah, right? I'd be alright with that. Okay. And then I'm going to use a cantrip because I cast a bonus action uh, spell. I can only do a cantrip to try to pop the white weasel that's attacking Chris Tactics. Okay. So. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh. Uh, that will not hit him. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind, Lasticus. Yeah. All right, Fenifer. Yeah. Um, okay. So you may use your action to grapple and throw him off if you wish. Yes, I would like to do that. But that but, is your um, action. Where do I roll a grapple? Uh, it should it's be a button. It's 3.5, so I don't see where it is on here. It's like an athletic, athletics or acrobatics, right? Isn't that isn't there grapple? A, isn't there a macro button? Yeah, but it doesn't say grapple, so I'm asking you which one do I do instead. Is it athletics? 
Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry. Because it's not three points. Ah. Let me look at the sheet myself. I have acrobatics or athletics, I guess. No, so, um... So if you're going to do a grapple... Let's see here. Why is that on the sheet? I don't see a button for it. Okay. Um, well, basically, in that case, then, so in 5e, um, you basically make. Um, so, let me see. Try to see the target size difference of one. Um, so, basically, it's your strength, athletics, or dexterity, a um, acrobatics. You can use either. Okay. So, I'm going to use athletics then since I have a vector. A nine. Oh boy. Oh, I got like um, muscles. You do. Yeah, that's not enough. Boy. Okay. So uh, you will fail to break the grapple. That's not great. Um. So well, I say that he could roll. He could roll worse. He could. It's just a little weasel. He, he, he definitely could roll worse. Um. So I have to roll. Weasel. Let's see. Eleven. Ooh, no, close. Yep, he's staying put. Sorry. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> nice attempt, but um, he stays put. Um, okay. No, you had two attacks, though, so isn't that just for one of them? Can she still attack? Oh, counts as an action. action? It, um, so grapple... Um, let's see. So grapple is a melee attack. Um, so... If I get two melee attacks... Uh, hang on. Well, you know, actually, now you're making me second-guess myself there. Perfect. One second. It's uh, page one ninety five, player's handbook. Yeah, I'm not looking at the player's handbook. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to go through the player's handbook to double check things. Um, let's see. I just got to double check. Here we are. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, it replaces one of them. Okay. So you still can make an attack. Christy, roll better, please. I would Hold on, is this the one that slowed? He is slowed, so that hits. Oh. Ha! Yes! Yay! The slow coming in clutch. And, Jesus. Um, um, which one are you hitting? The blind one? Well, the one who bit me. Who bit me? Oh, Mr. Eyepatch. So the right. one that's grapp the one that's on you? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get him out. Alrighty. Uh, let me apply the damage to him, then. All right, he is still clinging on like a son of a. Um, Lyra, the legendary rangeress, mouse, mouseketeer that you are. What do you wish to do? I am gonna choose who I'm gonna help here. I think I'm gonna help, uh, I can't tell who's who. Okay. Uh, that's fit, uh, fit that's me. cleric mouse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna help by attacking the three um, weasels oh. that are here first. Okay. So I'll begin there. What are you doing? Volleying. Okay. Let's go. Okay, this one is for the top weasel. And then. Nice. Let's. This is for the, this bottom. 
bottom weasel here. Ooh. That way? And then the one that's closest to Tiffany. Nice. Um, you hit all three of them. Cool. All right. And then I'm going to move here. So let me apply these damages where they Help belong. Out somewhere else. And okay. All righty. Fifany. All right. So after, uh, yeah, you're, seeing, you're kind uh, of. He's vanished. So you're kind of all of a sudden, so sur- almost surrounded by weasels. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you a question here, Gore. So I have oh, easy. It's not that crazy. All right. Uh, I have the uh, ring of the ram. Uh huh. Am I able to? I, I would want to try to like ram this dirty, grubby little weasel off of my friend here. Would that be a possible? Because if I hit it, it, the the character or the creature moves five feet backwards. Okay. Um. So that's what I'm. Yes. Is, is there a way we can do that? Um. Absolutely. If you are within range and can hit it, um, I am. Uh, pop. Do you have the? I, I do, but I don't know how to populate. It's in my inventory. I don't think I can populate it. I can just put co- copy pasta into the chat here. No, I mean it's it's fine. There you go. Just in case you want to read it. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, yeah. So, um, spectral attack. Bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So what it specifically says is, on a hit for each charge you spend, the target takes two d ten force damage and is pushed five feet away from you. Alternatively, you can expend one to three. So, yeah. It will right. be not... It, it, it's not... It can't oppose it in any way. So if you hit, it will get knocked five feet clear. Fact. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. Okay. So um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of see myself clear, and I don't see anybody else who's too vulnerable next to me. Uh, and I see uh, Fennifer just getting gnawed on over there. <laughs> so I'm going to um, clutch my ring and kind of bust and then charge forward uh, uh, how many charges s- you want to let loose just one okay single charge just one. i'm just trying to get over there right now yeah so it says with a plus seven for the attack so it's just a, a d20 plus seven then attack roll with plus 20 uh plus seven bonus yep yeah. okay so here's my roll and i think that one slowed perfect oh yeah definitely hits cool Yay. uh 2d10 kind of wanna... damage all right so i'll i'll fly up to this thing with crazy speed uh, hitting it for 2d10 force damage. What? Nice. Alrighty. All right, so you're you're basically you're using your movement to rush up there. Yeah, well, the, the, the ram, I, I essentially go forward uh, 60 feet. Right? No, you don't. It's like a spectral blast comes out of the ring, like a ram. Oh, it thing. is. Oh, I completely misunderstood how that ring works then. Uh, yeah, the ring has three charges and it regains uh-huh. 1d3 expended charges. While wearing the ring, you can use an action to expend 1 to 3 of its charges to attack one creature oh, you can see, see. within Got 60 it. feet. Oh, see, I thought <laughs> I was reproducing the ram. I thought I like rammed head. forward. I get three charges. <laughs> <laughs> I get yeah, no, I thought it was like, I thought it was like you a charge move. type of a thing. Yeah, no, no, well, you don't. That still move. works. That's, um, okay, that's still perfect. But here's so, but so the point is, you don't have to move if you don't. Oh, want good, to. good, good. Okay, because I was like, that's not gonna. Okay, perfect. Well, and then. The that's actually reason better. Is you get three attacks of opportunity. If yes. It is. I was gonna say. <laughs> well, I was just. I have plate mail. I was gonna run yeah. through him. I didn't care. I was just trying to get over to you to help. But that actually yeah, no, kind cool. of works perfectly too. Right. So he will get knocked back five feet. Um, okay. Dislodging him from hanging on, and you did seventeen. Yes. Points of damage. Oh yeah, he's definitely hurt. Okay, cool. In fact, both of these two up front here are badly hurt. Yeah, I'm just gonna yell out, "Go, go get him, baby!" All right. Oh, thank you. That was sharp. Um, My goodness. 
Weasels. Oh my good arm. Um, let's see which weasels. Um, so this weasel is still slowed. So let's make a save for him. Uh, oh, he gets unslowed this time. And then that other last weasel that is slowed. We'll give him a roll. And he is still slow. Okay. Alrighty. Um. And where is that? Blinding smite. Okay, he's gonna make a actually supposed to do it at the end of his turn, which I didn't do last time, but let's see. He's still blinded. Okay. Nice. Um, so this mice um, is going to attempt to attack you, but he is at um, disadvantage. So first attack uh, is a miss. And then the second attack is also a miss. Okay. He misses twice. Um, this weasel is going to just move up and this time make just two regular attacks himself. He is not blinded. Uh, 21. Just gets me. And 24. Okay, so he hits yeah. you twice. Twice. So I will do the damage combined then. For a grand total of 21 points of melee damage. Enough. Okay. Um, we have a situation over here, though. <laughs> um, you're about to get... Okay. Um... Yeah, one of them slowed, though. One of them they slowed. So one of them great. slowed. We'll do slow... I'm fine. We'll do slowed boy first. Bring um... it. He's gonna miss. Okay. Right, the other unslowed ones... 14 miss. is a miss. 18 miss. is a miss. miss. All right, the last one. 14 <laughs> and 22. Oh, that one just hit. Okay. Okay. All right, so the last weasel manages to get a nick in. Um, yeah. But they've given up <laughs> with this gripping on idea. It's not working well for them. Okay, uh, eight points of damage. Um, Lasticus. I am going to cast Magic Missile as a fourth level spell Ooh. Uh, to, to try to take out these that are being fought by the Paladin. So you want to split them? Free her. So yeah, I'm splitting them, so it's going to be 3d4 plus 3 for each of them. Okay. Just roll that. You said they're badly hurt. I hope I can deal enough damage because this is going to be very pathetic. <laughs> so for the one in whites... And the one with the eye patches. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, just pew, pew, pew. you killed them both. <gasps> yes. Because nice. um, one had ten hit points left, which is the one you did thirteen, and the other had five hit points left, which is when you did ninety. Um, yes. All right. So yeah, you will witness both of these weasels drop to the ground as they are blasted by little furry balls of magic. <laughs> like little tiny... They yeah, almost baby. look like those little... You know those little balls that you get stuck to your socks and your clothes whenever you walk through a field? It's like little glowing magical ones of those. Um, <laughs> and you've killed those too. Good job. All right, Fennifer. All right, well, seeing that happen, I'm going to look over Alaska and be like... Oh boy, that's what I'm talking about, and I'm gonna Edward spin TX around. Uh, you're, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> and I'm gonna go right for. Uh, can I tell out of these three who's looking? Um, they're all a probably some. They're all bloodied. Uh, okay. This guy here looks worse for wear. Okay. Uh, I mean, being that they're weasels and they're so much bigger, um, yeah. they're all kind of like crowded around, towering over. Poor little Fiffany yeah. Mouse, and they're like just boom, 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 wailing down on her. Not on my watch, and I'm gonna go over there and smack at this one here. Okay, all right. Try to finish off that moose. 
Mm. A 22, you will bludgeon him for nine. Um, you want to put anything on that? I will put a smite on it. Let's do... Put a smite on it. Just Turn it into a curveball. Slot, so 2d8. I meant to put that in, and I didn't. Sorry. Ow. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> for six. Uh, I think I get for not pulling the panel up. <laughs> there you go. Right um, unfortunately, that's not enough to uh, take that one out. Okay. He's still hanging on by the skin of his fur. Um, Lyra. Is it this one. Uh, this one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, Lyra, oh. legendary mouse ranger. I'm gonna sneak up here and and just concentrate. Both arrows on this weasel. Just I'm plug him in the back. Him. Okay. Um, sick sick bloody us. weasels! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Two attacks. Oh my god. Uh, that will hit. There and you go. So 16? will that. Uh, 16 points of weaselly damage. Come on. Uh, uh, he's still alive. Damn it. Okay. Fiffany! Um, surrounded by weaseldom that you are. Yes. <laughs> well, there's not, I mean, there's not much I can really do. Um, uh, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, the one that Jane just got a couple arrows in its back. Um, I am going to, again, cast Toll the Dead, because it's just a really cool spell. <laughs> I want to see it work. Yeah, me too. So here's the, there's the roll for it. Okay. Um, 17 and it is a wiz 17 save. wisdom. Yeah. And he will fail miserably. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Um, Sound of so the normally bell. he would take 1d8 points of damage, but because he has hit points down, he will take 1d12. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why that rolls. I think I just have to have it roll something. So I'll, I'll roll 1d12 here. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that rolls a bunch of dice, doesn't it? Yeah. Cause you're 11th level. So it's extra. Three oh, higher spell. levels. Oh, okay. What was it rolling? Was it rolling 12s or 8s? It was, yeah, it was rolling 12s. You're oh, then, then level, perfect. So it's 3d12 you will actually So, th so 12, 12 damage was what was rolled then. Uh, sucks. Hang on, let's see. <laughs> Damn, that actually Not is 3d12. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Damn, measly set. Oh, wow. Whatever, 12's going to kill it. Uh, 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 uh. Not quite, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but it is a great spell, you're right. Um, so how would that really look? Cool. Um, so basically, um, the sounds of Dolores bells fill the air. So probably the sounds of little high-pitched tinkling fill the air. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gotta make those bells bigger, dang. Um, they really do sound bad. And it is the weasel's turn. Well, okay, I'm not used to being a mouse. Will instinctively <laughs> turn to face whatever it is that attacked him. Um, and he is going to unload two weasel attacks on. That wasn't me. I didn't attack Jennifer. you. You got confused. Ooh. Oh, shit. Um, okay. 21 and a 26. And that's a crit or something. Hit. Was that a crit or something? Okay. Um, so the first one <laughs> will do. Oh, nothing if I don't tie. All right. He stabs you initially Ooh, for 14. Ouch. And then he has the crit hit for an additional 19. I am using my reaction to cast Projected Ward on that crit to take the remaining 17 damage ward I have and sending it to her. Oh. Nice. Okay, um, so basically you get to, so total damage is 33 and okay. you're sucking up how much of it? 16. 16, okay. So that's all, you take that's all I have left in my ward. And eat 16 of it for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, you, thank get, you. you get what's left. <laughs> Got it. Alrighty. Um, let me roll the saving throw for the last one. <laughs> uh, okay, he's out. Everybody <sighs> is out of slow now. So yeah, you yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yep, you're going to get four at four melee attacks. Hit and miss. 
Second one is hit and... Oof. 19 miss, right? Yes, 19 okay, misses. So you get hit twice. For a total of... 20 points of Ooh, okay. wow. piercing damage. I'm all right. Okay, uh, that is all of the weasels. Elasticus. I am going to um, cry into my little mouse whiskers. Cry into your mouse whiskers. <laughs> I am just going to cast a, a fire bolt at, at this one right in front of me. Fire bolt? Yeah, just a regular fire bolt. Okay. Um, it'll hit. For, for nine. Nine that's points it. of damage, and that's this one right here, huh? Yeah. Yes. Alrighty. Let's hoping for a little bit more damage. That was pretty pathetic. Okay. Still there. Barely, mm -hmm. but still there. Fennifer. Yes. What you got? Well, since this one is now attacking me, I'm going to turn to him and give him some mace blood. Um, yeah. He's no longer slowed, so 14 will miss. Okay, one more time. That will hit. Oh, and guess what that oh, is? Oh, yes. Natural 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's monstrous with this wow. hitting extra damage. All those dice get doubled. Just Dr. Optimal. Uh, okay. Um, so <laughs> this is one of those fun. He had three hit points left. Damn it. Uh, and you just did no. 38. Can I spread that around? <laughs> no. Uh, it that way. Um, but you can, you can give us a really disgusting overkill image if you want on how he's going to die. Because he's oh, okay. basically going to be weasel. smashed. Okay, so he's got this little like helmet on, right? So I wanna, I wanna crunch my mace down onto it and dent it so far into his little head that his brains come out of his ears. <laughs> That's a scene in Braveheart. It's a Braveheart move. I like that. Yes. I, like it. I approve. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yep. He is very, very much smited. Um, we will consider that extra smiting. Lyra, legendary ranger. There are two weasels left. Oh, I watched that happen, I guess. And I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, if you throw up. <laughs> it's not sneak, but I'm gonna run this way so I can see both of them. Okay. Um, you I'm gonna attack to this. Charge out of the one yeah. row of corn. Just this guy with the cool headband. Okay. Um. Let him have it. I will. Right now. Shot in the back again. Because that's how I fight. Uh, hits for eight. Um, nice. And eight again. You have killed that one. As the two Kills arrows two. go yes. into the back of his weaselness, he uh, falls forward. Deceased. Sweet. Leaving only one weasel left alive. Alrighty. Uh, Fiffany. Yeah. Um, I still want to do it one more time. It's just really cool. <laughs> and also it's just something else. But I wanted, I really wanted this one to work today. So <laughs> it's just such a cool thing, you know? Um, yeah, totally dead. Throwing it out there again. This time I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be really thinking, bills, 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 as I'm casting it. Wow, look um, at that. that that'll hurt if it hits. Let's see. There we go. Wow. Come on. We need a failed save nah. here. Nice rolls. Come nice on. Uh, he is going to fail. Yes. 34 Yay. points of necrotic <laughs> damage. Ouch. Brings him to one point left. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we can die just do a little on him. <laughs> All righty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Already, Lasticus is lining himself up trying to kill Steel. Uh, <laughs> Another kill Steel. All right. It is the Weasel's turn. Um, he will take a defensive couple of steps back and throw his swords to the ground, raising his little oh. Weasel paws, and says, 
I surrender. Give me quarter. <laughs> he made me do it. And then he points at the white weasel. I, I was just forced into this, as were most of us. Um, I don't care if she gets her stupid bell back. Just let me survive. Don't kill me. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it'll be to be killed by mice? I'll never live it down. <laughs> it'll bring dishonor on my whole family. Do you have a weasel family too? Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> In sight. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm aware this is a lie. Um, well, let me, all right, let me ask you something then. What, what are you, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of like, bump up my little mouse chest to him oh, okay. um what do you think what you, so what are you gonna do after this then huh <sighs> what are you, if we let you go what are you gonna do limp off through the cornfield into greener pastures lick my wounds and resign myself to living the life of a weasel you don't want to be human again <laughs> i don't think there's much chance of that now Unless you think that she'd be willing, after we betrayed her, to turn me back human. I very much doubt that. She'll probably feed have... me to that cat. Mm. If we have the bell, we can negotiate. Um, and you could become human again, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe we could say you, you helped us out. You, you'd be willing to do that? Even Absolutely. After, even after I was shamelessly and completely against my will forced to attack you well you know sometimes <laughs> we do stray off the beaten path sometimes um, we do go down shadowy dark roads that are unseen by his eye and his light you know something i think you would make a pretty good redemption story what, what do you think there sweetheart what do you think you think you'd be good I was thinking the same thing. I think everybody deserves a second chance. So mm -hmm. we only need just one little tiny, tiny, tiny favor from you. Give your life over to P-Lord for the rest of it. And mm -hmm. then when you dedicated. can be saved, then you'll be saved. Blood, sweat, and tears dedicated to P-Lord. Mm -hmm. Give my life every bodily fluid. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, if, if I swear fealty to P-Lord, I get to live? No, sure. if that's I don't, not how it works. I don't get to live? Or, We're not going to kill you if you worship well, you I mean, or how not. How do we know are he's going to be good? Why not? Why are we not? If he doesn't... Because that's very evil. No, I'm sorry. I, w I didn't start this. You see, all see what he did to my armor? kill me and Masticus if we arm. don't follow Pilar? If you attack me, oh. absolutely. Uh, yes. I agree. It doesn't seem very holy to basically no. give me an ultimatum, join my religion or die. That doesn't <laughs> sound very, very good. Is All right, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> join my religion or stay a weasel forever. <laughs> That's your better choice. There you go. Yeah. There we go. That's oh. better. Oh. I mean, there, there's 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 one more thing we, we, we could try. Um, <laughs> what? Uh-huh. You could be my uh, 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 a guinea weasel. Guinea weasel? Take the P Lord deal. Trust me. Take yeah. the P Lord deal. That's another rodent you'd have to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to like do it on one of us because I, I don't know the effects of it, but I, I could I could try to turn you back human. It probably won't work, but you know, it would be a test of strength, kind and of. If it doesn't, what, what's the effect? Oh. Like wait a, what, wait a second. The downside. Hold on, hold on a second. Let's guess. Why would we turn him into a human while we're mass and then he just <laughs> stepped on us? <laughs> Thank you. you. Take it one step further, there, huh? Okay. No. Uh, he goes. Oh, yeah. I'd never do that. I'd never do. Such a thing. <laughs> uh -huh, right. I'd right. never do that. Uh, you're so cute and fluffy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah Less. If Maybe us as a group discuss this and we don't really leave it up to him. Uh, I would like to say that I'll I'll venture to the base of the hill and hide and if you return, then I'll come to the treehouse with you to be saved. Um, but in my severely injured and weakened state, I don't even know that I could make it that far. Well, I will say this. If it is your destiny to become a follower of light, p -Lore will watch out for you. Mm -hmm. He does that. I couldn't help notice that some of you seem to possess magical 
energies. Um, do any of you possibly have any healing? Just a small amount of healing so that I may not perish on the journey back? <laughs> just, just a small amount? Nope, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to him and just go, boop. I'm going to boop him on the snoot. <laughs> <laughs> snoot. Boop, boop, and, boop, boop. and I am going to, I don't know, what's my lowest <laughs> healing spell here? Cure light wounds or something? D8? <laughs> yep, that's what it's going to be. Boop, I'm going to give him a little boot on the snoot. There you go. Three points, kid. <laughs> he goes, oh, I feel so much better. Um, <laughs> uh, I I hope you succeed. Um, it, as a sign of good faith. I can warn you about some of the dangers that lie ahead. Sure, I think that's only fair for what I just what I just bestowed on to you. Well, I, I think so too. Um, I, I do know that there is a cave, uh, not too far along the cornfield. If you continue the way you're going, but there is a huge toad that guards the entrance to the cave. And he will attempt to gobble you up in one big foul swoop. He, he's large enough that he could gobble up a weasel, almost. He Does could he certainly have one of those gobble up one of you mice. Tongues that can reach really far. Um, I don't really think he has much of a tongue. More of a really big. What the what? And say what's up, Thank you for so great. Oh, that's, that's a thing, I think. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Uh, but, um, he is big and bulbous. Nasty creature. But you will have to best him if you wish to get into the, inside the cave. Does he uh, have any weaknesses uh, that you know of? Yeah, why is he there? I'm sure he's he there because hurt? Leverett has employed him to protect the entrance to his cave, like a, a grotesque guard dog, only it's a toad. I suppose if you had a dog that was the size of a giant toad, it would be more frightening than a dog. I confess I don't know anything about Leverett. We never got to see him ourselves. We went as far as the uh, entrance, and that's when our leader said, you know what? To hell with it. We're not dying for her. And we're going to make sure she never gets her bell back to teach her a lesson. Um, well, if I may, I'll, I'll sneak off and try, if I might, to make it all the way back to the hill by myself in my weakened state. And then hide and hope that you succeed. And then if you do, and I can be turned back to human, um, of course... Why wouldn't I give my life into servitude over to Pelor? After all, if he shows me his divine grace and protects me and turns me back to that which I once was, uh, obviously I'll see it as a sign that I am to follow in his benevolence. That's all we ask. Well, um, may I go now, please? Uh, yeah, gang. Seems alright to me. You guys, all, you all got any problems with it? Uh, no, that's fine. No, Just that's the praise peelers on the way. She, okay. she could. She he could. kind of like gets down really low and reaches out and like draws his two swords back to him, but like clearly away from you so that he's not even attempting any kind of threatening action. <laughs> and then once he's got them back, he sheaths them in his belt. I, I'll be off then. Alright, off you go. Good luck. Uh, Hope you win. And he skulks back off into the cornfields hmm. further to the west. He's definitely going to go get some more weasel friends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll deal with him if he does. So these weasels, when they died, they stayed weasels, correct? They did. So I'm going to try, I, I really just want to ascertain how strong this transmutation spell turning us into mice is. Okay. So I want to try to dispel magic 
the dead weasel to see if it returns to a human state. Dispel magic. Yeah, so I can click it. Um, okay. Because I want to see, like, if in desperation one of us needs to be dispelled to return to humans, I have some spell slots to do it. I'm going to start running just in case it works, because that'll be a giant body. So I'm choosing the weasel creature. Okay. And a, as a third level, I'm not doing anything higher. Um, I make a dungeon. 10 plus a spells level. Um, I, uh, being an abjuration wizard, I get my proficiency bonus added to it as well. So it's... Um, so it's 1d10 plus 8, I guess? Because it's a fourth... Uh, no, third level, so 7, right? Mm-hmm. All right, nine. Okay, uh, it does not have any effect. Oh wait, that's the that's the DC. So it's a D twenty no, no. oh, plus yeah, seven. You're supposed to roll a D twenty. Right. You rolled a D ten. Yes, I'm an idiot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Um. Okay. And the good news or the bad news? Uh, good news. Okay. Does it come back? The, uh, the no. good news is it works. The bad news is, <laughs> he's you have alive. Any idea how big a human I- a human yeah. is? That <laughs> suddenly goes. <laughs> um, everybody, make a dexterity save, please. Oh no! I had already started running. I yeah. said it. Jane, Jane did say she was running. She um, did say it. If Jane, I'm gonna as you did choose that Lyra. I'm gonna let that stand. Jane, run. Eight! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay. god. Now, we're mice. It can't hurt us that badly, right? I don't know. Do you have any special abilities that say if you re- if you succeed on a deck save, oh that god. damage is reduced to zero? Not for oh, a cleric. God. Look, mice, ha- mice, they can go under doors. So if a thing pops up above us, <laughs> you know. Okay. Depends Slide. on what body part lands on you, I guess. Ew, Jane! <laughs> protection, does that do anything? All right, Ew. then. Um, Matt, you will take half of this damage. Okay. Um, oh, God. Lasticus and Fenifer, you will take all of this damage. Oh, man, I oh wasn't doing God. good, guys. This is not good. Um, let me, let's see. Which one, uh, which one did you cast it on? Uh, the white one. On this one? Okay. Yeah, because he was smallest? Question mark? All right, let me just figure out how I want to oh, do God. this. Uh- <laughs> 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 I will not get this tonight because I got squished in the house. <laughs> That's how you died. That's the saddest way to die in the game. No, it's the best way. To- if <laughs> oh, we die God. this way, it's epic. Okay, do I, come I do on. have protection. Come on. Does that give me anything? I mean, I know it's not an attack. Yeah, though, no, we like- get we get saving throw bonus when we're near you, right? Or something? It's like when wielding a shield, creature. No, Christy, you're a paladin. Don't you have special, like, have? saving throw bonuses for us? Or of courage, or of whatever they're called? Yeah, but I gotta cast it. No, they're. No, you've got. You, you, there should them. be some kind of. Where is that? Look, all I'm saying is save me. <laughs> <laughs> you save me. You. You did. I, I did. I warded one of you. <laughs> So you're immune to disease. That doesn't help us. Yeah. Um, whenever you are friendly creature within ten feet, you must make a saving throw. Yeah, the creature good. gains a bonus to the saving throw equal to your charisma modifier. So it probably doesn't help us with the saving throw. Oh, get out of here. Okay. Let me just fix this real quick because I broke stuff. <laughs> so what's your charisma modifier? It's like. Ten, right? So, yeah. so we get, you know, eighteen instead of eight, right? Right. Let me go ahead and well, go down saying, here. Or protection because it gives you a plus plus three to saving throws. So it's an eleven instead of an eight, which makes us take less damage. Oh, stop! Uh, right? <laughs> no. This poor man. Oh boy. To front over here. <laughs> okay. Even how I wanted to go out. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, 
<laughs> it's just it's just his butt, his penis. Okay, I got I got crushed by his groin. No, that's All a right. little bigger than it needs to be. Hold on. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Dumb little head. Uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, that's a big mouse. All right. Okay. Um. So. so I missed. He missed me. No, it's <laughs> the other way. No, yeah. I'm right. I'm between the legs. Alrighty, so basically, um, everybody is run for our lives <laughs> as this thing just goes. Um, okay, uh, damage. Let's see. So, is the saving throw an, uh, an eight or eleven? Does does the eleven work? No, it does not. You need <laughs> okay. uh, everybody takes nineteen points of damage, except for Fiffany. Who will only take half of that? Okay. Well, that's not the worst, but I'm very yeah. rich now. It's <laughs> okay. fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. So basically, this thing uh. is, and you're just smacked and sent <laughs> flying through the air. No. As this thing <laughs> like gets bigger um, and launches you, um, and these weasels are probably crushed almost underneath it. So, okay. Uh, ow! Um. Uh. Idiots! I'm gonna run, start running back to them. Is okay. everybody okay? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, heal, yourselves. Heal, yourselves. heal yourselves. Heal yourselves. I'm all right. I'm, all right. Stuck, I'm stuck under his bag. Get me out of here. It hurts. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna reach my little paws in. To see. <laughs> I'm just gonna injuredly climb onto climb the butt up, of this guy. Climb up his tunic and belt and climb <laughs> on his back. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good news, um, I can turn us all back into humans given time. Um, <laughs> bad news, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh my we God. have confirmed that should you die, he can turn you back human. Well, and I yes. alive too, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, what do you guys want to do now you have a, a giant human body here? <laughs> well, I want to cast. I want to cast uh, <laughs> cure wounds on myself. Okay. Uh, at level four. <laughs> yeah. All right. So go ahead and drop a go ahead and drop a Healy on yourself. So is that forty eight then? Right. Uh, what does it say? Uh, when you cast this second level, how are the increase by one d eight for each level above first? There you go then. Yep. So four forty eight. So if you're casting at a third level spell, three right. I'm doing a fourth level spell here. Uh, then it will be five d eight. Oh, five d eight. Oh, I see. I get it. Because you get one d eight. So. You get one. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway. Ooh, that's that was a horrible, <laughs> horrible roll. Fifteen hit points Holy healed. Holy shit! <laughs> that's a hell of a Yikes. burn of a spell to get fifteen. Uh, <laughs> wow. Look, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I'm, I, Fennifer, I'm sorry. Uh, but now we know that I could, you know. We don't have to turn one of us into a human. We all just squish the toe with our foot. Well, no, I, I don't want to. And then the rest you can go in the cape. Well, that that's 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 a lot of uh, magical energy. I don't want to actually do because I think we can deal with the toad. Uh. I mean, I I can I can even possibly banish it temporarily, so we could just like boop it, like you know, and uh, walk into the cave without dealing with it for that one time. And, you know, and coming out. Well, yeah, I mean, I have ways of getting rid of singular things, uh, multiple things, uh, magic. You know, if it works. Well, it worked on this person. So. Well, no, 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 this was different. This was I dispelled this one. Uh, I could try to banish the toad, but it'll only work for a minute, and it, then it'll come back. I mean, that doesn't seem like a solution. Just follow us into the cave later. Well, well not not if it doesn't hear us. You know, like we could do it if it works. We enter the cave. Won't well, it wonder why it got banished for a minute? Well, it's a toad. What's it gonna do? <laughs> Be like, huh? Something weird happened. I'll go check out the cave, and then we have to. Face a toad. A toad's gonna do that. <laughs> well, the weasels were very sentient. Um, maybe the toad's a person too. Point, too, like you. I don't know if the toad's a, a, a people, though. I mean, maybe, could be. I don't know. But what if it's want to leave it? It can't leave its lily pad, isn't that like Toad One Hundred and One? This is a, that's a frog. <laughs> Toads leave, do not just pad. leave in the water. <laughs> I'm just saying. But what if it's a dog? Pad. It's just like 
we can't really go easily, up to the toe right, right now. We have to fly or something. You all look like you're bleeding to death, so. Yeah, I, yeah. Or I just got here with a big old 15. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to do a lay on hands. I'm like, I'm good. Look. I'm invincible now, apparently. Bird grows back on your arms. Can, can I get some of that t- too? Oh, me? Oh, I'm sorry. I used all of it after getting smushed by a giant human. <laughs> yeah, by a giant human. I didn't need all of it earlier, but then all of a sudden, what you know it, I needed all of it. I mean, you, you, you got any extra spells for uh, Dumasticus over here? Dumasticus. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Hey, um, I... Uh, uh, you got him. You got well, him. I got you. Yeah, that's right. You feel that burn. You deserve it. <laughs> I see so, so a lot of hell, so not I seem to recall shielding you from some of that damage uh, earlier I during the fight. Appreciate that. It's that you just kind of negated it when you made a giant human crush my bones. Wow! How pancakes. how wonderfully Pelorian of you. You um, could have just said, "Move, hey, hey, Fed, move." I didn't I'm know what was going to work. I'm going to do a weird thing. It might explode. It might squish you. That's for last guess. Good. I'm glad it's a shitty roll. <laughs> <laughs> there, I have six measly hit points. That was Jesus. a level two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You you want to get eaten by the by the frog? Go be my guest. I'll I just, just be dead. Hey, hey, I just healed you. What are you doing? Yeah. He, I just gave you some heals. heals. I want to survive. I have to continue fighting this giant frog. Remember? Are you going to get up in front? I didn't think so. so I actually, I actually can, and I could show you how it's done. Okay, well I can't Please wait to see it. Is do it not dragging know. this human over there and smashing <laughs> him with it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw both my war picks and be like, you don't know what magic I can Ooh, do. Oh, okay, you, all right, guy tough guy. Let's here. just take it Ooh. easy. Come on, <laughs> put those away. You're very scary. Oh, Everyone's all scared of you. You babe. don't, you don't know what I'm capable. I'm capable of. There's spells I know. That mm-hmm. I have, that I have ready. That you, you, you know. And I'm just like clumsily <laughs> waving these war picks around because I clearly am not proficient with them. I'm just like, <laughs> you've got a quiver to your voice that makes me not really believe that you're that confident about that. Mm-hmm. Just, j- j- just you wait. Okay. All right. All right. I just calm down. I gave you some healing. You did you not feel like... the warmth of the light come over you just no. a moment ago? Just for a half no. a I did second. say attaboy. Very, very brief I moment. Didn't... No, it was it was so it was it was so pathetic, it was not even strong enough for a cantrip. You're right. It wasn't my best spell, but you know, I just got this <laughs> I, I got like this crazy it. little crick in my spelling shoulder after that body just fell on me. So, you know, you have to excuse me. I'm just gonna need to work this out a little bit, look, okay? Look, I'm gonna put the war picks back into my belt. Oh, thank- all right, just... he put them away. We're gonna relax now, all right? <laughs> Question, Gore. Yes. Since this, there's a human here now, did did anything appear on the human, like a bag or weapon, uh, anything in particular? Um, his, I mean, his we his the um the swords that he had before, um, went and become normal sized, but he didn't have, like have any baggage. Dagger or, anywhere? Uh, even a, I mean. Sure, he's got a boot dagger. But even a boot dagger is probably <laughs> too big for you. You're like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, I mean, the way, right. The, the, what do you want to do with it, I guess? Look, Guys, before, I'm going to point... I say I'm, that it, yeah. <laughs> whatever you want to do isn't going to work, what do you want to do with it? I'm going to point to it and be like, what if all of us carried this dagger here and rushed at the toad with it? Oh. That would be a huge attack on the toad, wouldn't it? You want to try to like I, battering no. ram the toad? <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. Okay. And the frog you know, is not going to jump out of the way. <laughs> I can make one of you a little larger. It won't be human larger. It'll be mouse larger. Toad okay. Larger? Okay. And it well, can we can carry the. We could distract that? it. We could distract it. Here, let's get you. What if we go above while we go? and we drop it down on top of his little froggy head? Now, above. here's a better question, right? How far is the cave away from here? How long we got to carry this thing? Are we going to make it? I can make it smaller in while we move there, and then make it make one of you larger with one spell. There you go. There, there's your relative size for the dagger. Okay. Okay. So then, can we just use any of our weapons to do Mm -hmm. that, and just maybe like this mace, for example? I could just or like one of those one of those big fancy uh, scary war picks you got. Well, this one's already big. But he's gonna make it small, is what he's, he's saying. Right, he's, gonna, he's gonna waste. Gonna make it big again. Right. I'm gonna make it small first, and then I can make one of us 
So I can make it normal size like this and then make one of us larger. Okay. What I'm saying but is then we, make already the have, <laughs> we already have small weapons. You don't need to burn a spell <laughs> to make the weapon small again. Well, we already have that. You just make us big when we get to it. But do, you, do you want to make a, a mouse weapon <laughs> a little larger or or the dagger, which is already larger than the mouse weapon being larger? You, you see what I'm saying? Oh, I see. So the, so the, the amount of large we can large is relative yes. to the thing you're larging. Okay. <laughs> you know, look, it's very scientific. You got me there. Okay. okay. <laughs> you got me. All right. I, I'll admit it. When I've got a little mashed potato on my face, I will admit it. So large I agree. MC, MC large. <laughs> see what he's trying to say. We're going to make the dagger small. Yes. Then... Yes. The equation is mouse weapon large, larger dagger. Well, let's just human all dagger pick it larger, up. smaller. Let's right. just all pick it up and see how heavy it is, and maybe the caves just just a little further. Maybe we don't need to waste a spell making it small. Um, let's let's see how heavy this is. Come on, no, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'll take the heavy end over I'm here. I'm grabbing the handle with my two little mouse hands. I, I, I'm ready to pull. Where the oh, oh, there, oh, he's underneath one, them. Okay, I got him. Oh, hold one, on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, I'm going to get it on this end. So it's, we got leverage. We got one, leverage. Okay, be careful. It's sharp. Don't and leverage. Leverage. Okay. Slide it out of his boots. <laughs> Because we're sliding <laughs> it out, haul, right? Now. Haul the dagger out of his boots. So yeah, the four of you, kind of strategically <laughs> positioned around the the dagger, can carry it. Um, it's kind of like, I mean, imagine the four of you carrying a ginormous tree trunk. I mean, it's that okay? So cumbersome. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's big. It's hefty. It's cumbersome. It's not wieldy in any normal way. But you can bring the dagger with you if you wish. All right, now hold on. Now, okay, again, I did, I kind of asked this question beforehand. Do we understand the laws of physics in this world? Like, is that a thing? You can't because, change the laws of physics. Because, right, well, man, okay, let's just hold on a minute. Let's just hold, hold, hold on a second. Let's even say we do get this over to where the frog is, right? Oh, I understand man. the weapon is large. How are we going to get it moving fast enough to actually do anything? You see what I'm saying? Oh, like, we might as well go. If there's like a cliff above that we could drop it on. That's what I was thinking. Just but we got to go. Up. Okay, so now we got to take this thing up a cliff? That is I don't know yet. Community. All right, it I'm just, just. It just, just might come in handy. We should just bring it what if we? What if we <laughs> like do a wedge with it like this, okay? With some rocks underneath and we do it like this. So that's oh, I, I know you're going. Okay, and then we cover it, and then we go. Ooh, frog, well, put a lily pad. Put a lily pad on it. A lily pad, and we all dress up like flies, and we're gonna kind of hover around it. <laughs> little little wings, <laughs> and then he's gonna come hopping so excited, he's gonna right on top. You I know? mean, it's it's not the worst idea I've heard today. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> if the knife is gonna work, that's the way it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see any other way. <laughs> Unless last because you got some crazy cool spell that you can make it hover and stab into somebody. Uh, I don't think my mage hand will really work with this. Yeah, I think. Yeah. In... <laughs> what if it's a small one? All I'm saying is there might be an opportunity to sure. use okay use something cool. Since yeah. we're mice, we need to be legendary with our actions. <laughs> right? Very nice. here, we, here we go about legendary again. Um, <laughs> I'm really saying is I'm known to have some finesse in situations, and um, this seems like something I would do. So we should do it. <laughs> something. All right, well, let's. Do. We, we, something we, I would do. Yeah, we could. Uh, <laughs> I we have a feeling we'll get lucky. That's all. Okay, it's just gonna be right. like we're gonna argue like we're moving a couch up some stairs the whole time <laughs> to the cave. But yes. yeah, pivot, we're, we're <laughs> pivot. <laughs> hold on, hold on, my fingers. I gotta sit it down. Gotta let's sit go. Down. I gotta sit it down. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, and I'll be yeah, kind of on the front, it. like you know, holding the front of it up. Yeah, I'll I'll go to sort of the front middle to kind of even it out. Okay. So I'll I'll hold the handle in the back. <laughs> and then, so yeah. and here you all are. You're just gonna go along and carry <laughs> the knife. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, in mouse terms, um, after about um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, here we go. Let's move you over. Obviously, we're not going to be like in view of it, right? I mean, no, I mean, I'm just oh, putting we're going to run right up. So basically, <laughs> yeah, as you this. kind of <laughs> you, you get to the edge of the cornfield um, and you're going across some kind of like 
small grassy plains and you can see hedgerows. Um, at the base of one of the hedgerows, you can see a little bit of a mound of dirt where some kind of large hole has dug into the ground. Um, at the base of the large hole, sitting there, going, is a colossal looking toad. Um, surrounding the area, I mean, there's a few bushes, some weeds. There's a large kind of group of red seeds sitting just to the left of the giant toad as well. Like, almost like it's some kind of, I don't know whether it's there for food, whether it was there as some kind of offering, but there's a big pile of little red rose hip seeds. Um, you guys all appear across the verge of the hill, and you're kind of looking down at a very slight angle um, to where you can the kind of see hill down to the frog, area. huh? It's it's not really a hill. It's a slight some indentation. Skates. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for us. That's all we need is an incline. <laughs> Just so, I mean, if you was to take off running, it would help shoes. your speed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> rolling shoes. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, what do you want to do? I mean, if we charge it, want to just like. Uh, you know, jump out of the way. I yeah, mean, it can hop out of the way. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, it's gonna. So, so, so we need to. We need to no, or distract, or, or we could have someone distract it so it is facing the other way. Right, we have to get it from. And, the and then, and then I make you, Fennifer, a little bit larger as mouse, so you can oh, handle sorry. it. <laughs> and then all three of us hold the handle and charge it from behind. <laughs> Skewer the frog. All right. Well, who's going to be the distraction then? Uh, Lyra, because she's quick. Excuse me. You're legendary. Oh, that's a great idea. Uh, you, you, are the fa- you are the fastest one out of all of us. But go over there and try to steal its seeds. See if it gets it. Steal mad. its seeds. Yeah, I bet it hates that. <laughs> S- steal its CDLs. What if it hits me? Oh, and then you stab yeah. a dagger into it, then it hits me. Well, what miss. Why would well, that I happen guess. to you, Miss Legendary Ranger? <sighs> that seems right. rather unlegendary. Mm. Yeah, right. That wouldn't happen. <laughs> right. Uh, you'll just jump over on top of its head and do a cool move, and it'll be fine. I just, you know, I want to give someone else an opportunity to be legendary as well. I can't oh. wait. I'm going to stab a giant frog with a knife as a mouse. <laughs> it's really legendary. <laughs> but a slightly <laughs> larger mouse. I don't want to be. I, I really don't have the need to be legendary. I want to be humble before him. So there's only one legendary man I need in my life, and that's Pete Lord. Humble before him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Me. Well, the huge toad has doesn't seem to have any interest in moving, and it clearly okay. has not seen or heard you guys yet. What's he doing? Is he like looking around, or is he just no? It's just kind of sitting him. right in front of the entrance, like its back legs, like almost just poised down into it, just going. Oh, that's the entrance of a king. Gore, I thought that was a lily pad for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's the hole in the ground. Damn it! All it's right, the hole in the dirt. I'm gonna cast pass without a trace on myself. Okay. Um, first, like, all right, all right. I can so maybe do this. So you surround yourself in a veil of shadow. And uh, I'm going to pa- to cast Enlarge Reduce on Fennifer and make her a larger mouse, double her size, basically. Okay, on Fennifer? Yeah, on the paladin. <laughs> okay. That's the. That's a. That's. Oh, I did it on Christy. That's Christy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you guys look the same. <laughs> Christy has the sword. Right. Just, just, well, I, I have a mace technically, but yeah. Oh well. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, okay. Okay. What's over here again, Gore? This thing. This, uh, it's, this greenery. It's, it's basically hedgerow and bushes. Okay, so I'm going to try to sneak basically over here, like as far behind the frog as I can. Using, okay. yes, yeah, so I'll sneak in. I'll have, give you a plus 10 dex bonus. Give me a dice roll. Okay, skills. So you'll be making a stealth check, but you get plus 10 on it. All right, add 10 to this. Come on, Jane. Come on. Whoa! Damn. Oh. Damn. That's a 20! 
<laughs> Frogs, as we know, don't have like ears, you know, so it's not going to yeah. hear you. Can't hear anything. So. <laughs> All righty. Um, there's your 20. So uh, he gets a he gets a perception, uh, passive perception, or he gets a perception okay. check against that. Yeah, it's not going to pass. <laughs> he okay. can't. Um, so. Once I'm here. Ooh, he good. did fairly well, but you still snuck past him. What are these red red things now that I'm really close Um, They're to? like rose hips. Like the, you know, little red rose hip berries. Okay. From a hedgerow. Not good so, for people to eat, but animals like them. All right, everyone, hold on to the hilts. Okay, we keep okay. it. We're going to charge it. Silently, of course. I'm going to, like, slowly take my arrow out. Okay, as you're poised inside. I'm, like, the shaking. Edge of the... <laughs> okay. And I pop it off on uh, the back of it here, like, "Hey, Toad!" All right, so you're gonna yell to the Toad to draw its attention, and then shoot it um, a couple of times yes. with your arrows. Yep. Okay, let it go. Let, let's let's go pew pew. Okay. So scared. Um. All right. Um. You will hit it twice. Okay. Seventeen points of damage. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> Two little mousy arrows come flying out. The toad <laughs> immediately does a huge, big, like, leap forward, like, su in surprise and alarm. Uh, um, 20 foot long. 20 okay. High. Okay, yeah, it basically goes boom, flying up in the air. And then comes crashing down on the ground here. Um, okay. And then it will spin around to see what it was that just bit it in the back. Ow! Great. Okay. And then we then we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll dang it. Okay. All, all three of us are holding the hilt, and we're gonna charge the. We're gonna go the, charge. And go. Not, well, not with noise. Well, we're right? gonna no. mouth it. We're gonna go. Mouth. We're gonna go. All right, everyone. <laughs> so you're you're attempting this. Yes. yes. <laughs> you get that you're attempting <laughs> this. Okay. <laughs> um, what if you were that pro? All right. Somebody <laughs> is going to make a attack roll for this. Um, let's see. The it's Christy, obviously. It should be me, <laughs> right? You, Cause I'm the yeah, because I think you'd be the one. We're just there to, like, help. You're the one kind yeah, of we're, dying it right. in. We're yeah. using the help action, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so so you do like not have proficiency with this weapon. <laughs> but it's you a, have Technically, now it's a long sword. Um, <laughs> I mean, kind of. It's, it's more like a, a zwei hander and then some. Um, so you can't count, you, you don't have proficiency, so you don't get, but you can basically make um, a straight up attack roll with your strength. Plus the help, we're helping her. Doesn't that, that negate That makes it possible. Okay. How do, I, <laughs> how do I do just a straight up attack roll? Um, so you're going to basically roll uh, just a d20 and add your strength bonus to it. Okay. Come on, Christy. This is absurd, but funny Treasure. as hell. <laughs> you gave us an absurd situation. <laughs> Strength, which is... Yeah, whatever your strength bonus is. Okay. Yeah. Probably do 20 plus 3. This is the most important Ooh, of my boy. life. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, God. Okay. Um, oh right, God. you guys kind of like... <laughs> charge down the hill no. um, okay. <laughs> and it's so unwieldy and but you're all holding the back of it and the tip is like so hard to keep lined oh, up because it's like you're all like ah! um and right as you get to where the toad is the weight is just too overpowering and the tip of the dagger just drops into the dirt right before you, you fling? get to it <laughs> <laughs> and you stab the ground um, oh man! Well, at least we stabbed yeah. something, guys. That's good effort. Good effort. <laughs> no inspiration oh. either. No. <laughs> okay. Um. So you your, your attack falls slightly short. <laughs> um, the now least. the craziness is over. Everybody, let's get an initiative rolls. Okay. <laughs> What a what? mess that was, huh? Oh, Ooh, nice. Mm. Thanks, Thanks, Lactacular. Lactacular. Thanks, Lactacular. Oh, oh nice. Christy. Nice. nice. Give me that 20. Put it on my count. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Well, you're still big. Maybe you can still use it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Fennifer is on a 21. 
Um, oh, oh, Tiffany on a 20. Lyra on a 16. Elasticus on an 8. Yeah. And let's see where the toad goes. <laughs> 20 plus 1 for toads. Uh, and the toad. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. For <laughs> fuck's sake. What? <laughs> this, there's, there's a reason this is the guard toad. <laughs> <laughs> it's super fast toad. It's a racing frog. Um, all right, Fennifer, what do you want to do? You and the toad are going to go at the same time. All right, I'm going to drop this piece of crap that I've got here, and I'm going to You let go, go of that huge knife? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. Use when you let go, pretty much it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. just flop out of the hands of the other two because they're never gonna <laughs> hold it by themselves. <laughs> yes, and I'm gonna go for a big old attack. So just so you know, Christy, you deal an extra D4 damage because I made you a little larger. Oh, okay. so, cool. 15, so every attack deals. Four? Nice. nice. Okay. I'll count. Another one. So you you charge forward and belt the back of this toad. Yeah. Um, do you wish to add anything to that? I'm, I'm gonna attack again as well. Second attack. Okay. With my uh, for another fourteen. Nice. nice. Okay, and then yeah, I'm gonna add another. So mad that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting did. it you to. Almost did. So it should have worked. I'm curious about what the damage would have been with a. I mean, I know it's a dagger D4, but. It's, no, not to this. It wouldn't have been. This would have it been, would like have been lance damage. I'm yes. Three like D ten. Might... <laughs> Ooh. Um. Sorry, let me pop it up there. What you sticking on it? I'm gonna do the searing. Ooh. That level one. Right. Yeah. This guy here. Searing Smite. Next time you hit a creature with a melee attack, during the spell's duration, your weapon flares. Does 1d6 points of fire damage to the target and will cause it to ignite. Uh, has to make a constitution save. Um, you boosting this in any way? Uh, just the one. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, con save, DC 15. Uh, only has a plus one con bonus. Okay. And it passes. Sorry. Uh, that. Well, it still deals the initial. Uh, it still takes the D6 initial. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's a, it's a toad, so it's probably slippery and slimy, so the fire gets... <laughs> All right, so four points. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. Additional four points of damage. Um, yeah, really, I should have made that saving throw <coughs> um, on its turn, but oh well. Um... Where are we at? Um, it is the Toad's turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, that, was still, that was still 36 points of damage. It's yeah, it was still awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Thank you, thank you. I'm just sad. I just wanted the other one so bad. <laughs> I wanted that to be so epic. <laughs> I wanted it to come um, up to its mouth on the other side. So it spins around. <laughs> um, it's probably not going to attempt to swallow Fennifer because, to be honest, Fennifer's a little bit big for it to swallow now. Um, so it's going to pick one of you two at random. No. Oh no. Uh, one, two will be Lasticus. Three, four will be Fiffany. Oh no. Lasticus. No. Yeah. Oh no. That we was need the, you. that was the worst choice. <laughs> so okay. it has to it has to hit me with an attack, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Alrighty. Okay, it attempts a bite attack. Uh, and... Whoa. Oh, 24. oh my god. Okay, yeah, that um, absolutely hits me. <laughs> you take from the bite itself wait, seven wait, 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 points wait. of damage. I have protection. So when a creature can see... An, when you can see an attack... A, t a creature next to you that's within five feet, you can use your reaction to oppose disadvantage on the attack roll. He's not in five feet, though. He's not? Uh, you ran around. I'm on the other side of the dagger. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't really, I didn't think I moved. I just thought I dropped the weapon, but all right. Well, you'd have had to move forward to attack him. I guess. I can stand so. on top of it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I tried. It was like right Thank hand. you. Good thought, though. It was, it was a, it was a no-go It would work if it was Fiffany. <sighs> yeah. 
Okay. Um, alrighty. Um. Yeah. Well, I brought food now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and you are counted as eaten. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guessed. <laughs> Here, oh, no one. Go back. It's just too funny. Okay, swallow. The toad makes one bite attack. Uh, if the attack hits, the target is swallowed. The swallowed target uh, you count as blinded and restrained. Um, and then things happen, which will. Yeah, because I'm in a fucking. Yeah, I get it. Um, Are you in a toad's mouth right now? Uh, yeah, he's basically been swallowed by the toad. Okay. Restrained, huh? Yes. That cuts my options short. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> restrained. A restrained sp- creature uh, has a zero speed. Um, any attack rolls have advantage against you. You have disadvantage on any dexterity saves and disadvantage on any attack rolls that you try to do. Huh. Question. Would I have gotten an opportunity if it went past me to go swallow him up? Didn't go, didn't leave five feet. Has to actually move out of your attack range. Net. Uh, good thought. Um, yeah. So basically, um, yeah. Okay. This yeah. Sucks. Attack rolls are at advantage to hit you. You are at disadvantage and disadvantage on deck saves, and you have no movement. That's what it means. And then you are also blinded. Don't forget as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, which has its own, um, basically, well blinded you. creature is automatically yep. fails any ability checks, and attack rolls have advantage, uh, but you can't get more than advantage, so, and you can't get less than disadvantage, so it's still the same. Got it. So, um, yeah. Okay, and you're gobbled. All right. Um, Fiffany, you're up. What do you want to yes. do? Yes. Um, I'm gonna. Uh... So he is within attacking distance of me, I assume, right? Yes. Okay. Um, he just go. Yeah, I'm going to go, oh, you devil toad! And I'm going to cast <laughs> Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians! <laughs> okay, um, you call for spirits to protect you. They flit around you for a distance of 15 feet. If you're a good or neutral, the spectral forms appear angelic. Um, when you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected. Okay, I'm having my um, friends. An affected creature speed is halved in the area, and when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom save on a save fail. It takes 3d8 radiant damage. And I'm casting it at level five. Damn! Wow! Yeah. Ooh. Okay, um, so that's an additional. So it, it, if you cast it at so level five, so when you cast a spell. A fourth level or higher, the damage increases by one d8 for each slot above third. So an additional two d8. Yep. So it'll if yeah. So that's what so it'll, it'll do. If it'll it, do five uh, d8. Yeah. All right. Let me get you something cool for that. Yeah. Um. I don't like demon. Demon toad. Be gone from this plane. Don't know if I've actually got any plugged into here or not, but we will see. Um. Yeah, that'll work. And then make them. They should really look like little mice, but little angelic mice. <laughs> but I don't have any angelic mice. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Is normally it's like like um, Pelor's guardian, some angels, some some old fallen, you know, really famous yeah. warriors. But now it's like chipmunks and squirrels and <laughs> mice and guinea pigs just every rodent you can think of there you are there, there's a little horde of mice for you uh, yeah, little, yeah. Little, <laughs> little, little, little horde of spectre <laughs> things okay yes um, all right so that's what i'm that's what i'm doing all right when the creature enters the area for the first time or on a turn that it starts so it's starting on its turn it will take that damage right it's got to say right. uh, um, you want to move or is that all you're going to do no, because I want to stay within um, distance of this thing. Okay, all right. Yeah, because um, it's... Lyra. All right, 
from where I am, I'm going to shoot a lightning arrow at it. Ooh. Does that sound? <laughs> Electrocute me. Gonna... <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Electric, I love that. Um, okay. I, that's not an attack roll. Okay, no, I don't know what why it does. did like a saving throw. There's no saving well, throw, right? Uh, so the next time you make a ranged like a weapon attack during the spell's duration, the weapon ammunition or the weapon itself, if it's thrown, transforms into a ball of light. So basically you fire it and it will turn. the arrow turns into lightning, whether it hits or not. Got it. All right. 24. Okay. Um, it will hit. So the Fantastic. arrow will do nine points of piercing damage. Um but um you're gonna add all that so it gets a it gets a dc 13 save mm -hmm. to try to have the damage which it does not so it's gonna take yes. the nine plus nice. the 14. all right that's 23. all right definitely and i'm gonna keep an eye on this opening to see if anything's coming out of it Okay. So, Alrighty. Yeah. Good job. Um, Lasticus. <laughs> well, a lot of my spells require sight, so I can't see, even though I'm inside it. Uh, so I'm going to do the only thing that I can do and wield one of my pickaxes. Right. Which I can uh, only it is pull. your turn. So take 3d6 points of acidic damage, please. Are you going to roll it or do you want me to roll it? Oh, no. Um, I mean. You can roll can it. You, there you go. 12. You, no, can you roll it, please? Because maybe you'll roll first. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll roll it, but if I roll it, you take what I roll. Uh, <laughs> I don't. You, your dice have been mean tonight. All right, so yes, I'm going to wield <laughs> one of my two pickaxes because I can't <coughs> pull both out, I imagine. Okay, um, so yeah, you take 12 points of acidic damage from the inside yep. acid, stomach acid of the toad. Yeah, and I'm going to be like uh, Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy and try to... You but disadvantage. Like so oh, yeah. Okay. Oh That's my not god. Let's so. oh. see. Hacking away in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh. <laughs> terrible indigestion though, so that's nice. Yeah, because I, I, all my spells have sight or um, other requirements. Can't really. All right. Yeah, you didn't get to do anything. You didn't do any damage. Cool. You kind of um, like. You're trapped. You're like you just. Your arm I, is like just flailing against the side of it. You can't maneuver the stabby point of your pick, it would seem. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, all of Matt's characters when he loses control. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Fennifer and the yes. toad. Yes, me. I'm going to strike this toad. Carefully, right. though. Very carefully. Carefully, carefully, stabby, st stabby toad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, nice hit. 17. Nice. Plus a 4 still yet? Um, yeah, plus a d4. I think so. Yep. There we go. Nice. Nice, 21. Great. And then I'm going to go again. Congratulations, you have killed the toad! <gasps> Did I really? Really? Yes. Oh. Oh, damn. Ah, <laughs> level 5 spell waste. <laughs> cool. Yay. <laughs> Um, okay, if the toad dies, a swallow creature is no longer restrained um, and can escape from the corpse using five foot movement, exiting Ten as minute prone. I so basically, yeah. he'll come Carefully crawling out <laughs> of the dead <laughs> toad's mouth, covered in toad bile. Oh, I'm, I'm going to help him up. <sighs> you were you right? I knew this stupid play wasn't going to work, by the way. It was real dumb. <laughs> we were so close. Uh, were we though? Were we that close? I'm going to help no, him up to his what? feet. Plasticus was a little mean earlier, and so I think maybe P. Will was just teaching him a little, little, oh. little, little, little lesson, you know, Ooh. like, oh, I'm going to gobble you up. You know, <laughs> me and my girl. You might be right. Okay. You uh, know, what's the duration say? on her big, her big, big, biggie ups? Oh, I, uh, she got, she gets shrunk. I mean, it's concentration. I, yeah, that's I what I figured. Right? It. Cause yeah, it's only lasts a minute anyway. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're back to normal. Oh, little again. And, um, Everyone okay up there? What's the duration on your spirit guardians? 
10 minutes. 10 for... minutes, as long as you keep concentrating. So you still got Spirit Guardians. You still got Yeah, them? I'll just keep it around for the effect at this point. <laughs> Those are lovely. Look at how cute they're little chipmunkies. <laughs> okay. What do you guys want to do now? I'm going to peer into this. See All right. what, um, see basically, what I can see. It's like an angled tunnel of dirt that disappears down into and underneath the roots of the bush. So it's kind of going... As you're facing it, you're kind of, you'd are kind of be going down and into it. Tiffany, come, come have those angels lead the way. They probably heard us already, so... Uh, yeah, sure. It's not not okay. a bad idea. All right. And I'll uh, head in there, Gore, with my little angel friends. Kind of giving me some protection. You're my angels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we are... So you're going to go down into the tunnel first? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, what we're going to do... Um, it's because I know what's about to happen. Uh, and we were going to take breaks, but we haven't done that. So we are okay. going to just venture down into here first. Now you're going to have to give me a second to grab some angels. <laughs> yeah. Yes, don't forget the angels. I need to grab one. Um... <laughs> You know what they are? They gotta be like in the rescuers where like the littler creatures were like little bugs and stuff. So it's like little grasshoppers and roly polies, oh. ladybugs. It's gotta be smaller than a mouse. <laughs> are you guys sure you don't want to take the dagger with us? <laughs> and I gotta shrink these, shrink this down to the appropriate size. <laughs> you take it, Lasticus. No, no, that 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 that's okay. And we're gonna put him at the front. Seeing as he's got little angels. <laughs> and they can be up to 15 feet from you? Uh, yes. I believe. You're going to use that it. range? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 15, 15 feet for the duration. Yeah. Okay. And we'll basically put them there. All right. Uh, zoom in. Okie dokie, let me move you guys over onto the map. Bomp. Alright, so um, you crawl down and it is a long dirt tunnel. Um, there's about room for two of you to stand side by side as you wander down. The little glowing chipmunk creatures, angels, are flying ahead. This might be a rabbit hole. Let's go. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll lead the way. And we'll, we'll slowly start making our way down. Okay. And let me go ahead. Um, it is dark once you're kind of down in the hole. What do we want to do regarding light sources? Does anybody have the ability well, to we're, see? We're mice, right? Don't um, mice have vision? Just, you, yeah. Well, as mice, you do have um, low light vision. But once that, which is why you can see as far in as you can. But once you're down into the tunnel, it's pitch black, so that won't help. Well, my angels. Oh, maybe they don't. I don't think. Do they, they emit? Any I don't light? think no. they innately emit uh, omit light. I angels don't think. that don't light up. Yeah, well, yes, sir. They look all useless. celestial, well, but they don't glow. I have a lantern. Light. So do I still have a lantern? If I oh mice, yeah, mouse. Mm -hmm. I'll take that out and um, kind of hook it on the side of my belt and okay. turn it on all right yep that will allow you cool to see further uh, let me okay, go ahead cool. where's the reveal thing here there we go polygon reveal all right it looks like up ahead it begins to twist and turn slightly slightly veers to the right yeah, I'll just keep uh, walking up there, I guess. Okay, um, if you will, give me a spot check. Spot check, okay. Um, which, of course, is perception. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you go in, you, you won't want to go much further. Well, also, show me, show me take a break? Don't you need to... Well, no, that's what we're just saying. We're, we're about to probably stop, so there's no point. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. 
Cool. Ooh, nice one. Because, uh... <laughs> Ooh, 27. My angels are lighting the way. I can see. I can see everything. I thought you said they um, Please don't blame my... But they can use my lantern and call it part of your angel lighting the way. It's just my lantern. No, but I can feel what the, I can feel what the little angels are feeling. The angels they're, they're are slow. The, the lagging behind. But they're giving. But they're they're like bats. They got sonar and they're sending it out, pinging right. me, and I can feel um, it. As you peer ahead, <laughs> see, you're able to see oh. just at the edge what looks like. Sorry, Christy. Thick <laughs> kind of white string. <laughs> um, and it's at that point that you realize. Um, oh. Let's see. It's not a rabbit hole. Um, it's not a rabbit hole. Not a rabbit hole it all. is, in oh, fact, no. not white string at all, but cobwebs. Uh oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. The token better be cute, Gore, is all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need a cute uh. one. Um, hey, y'all, uh, I don't think this is a, uh, I don't think this is a rabbit hole. I once met a what? rabbit that spun webs. You did? You, you what? Sure, still could be a rabbit. Maybe oh. not now, maybe later. What? So. what? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think a spider could build this whole tunnel. Uh, spider. <laughs> spiders absolutely <laughs> dig tunnels, actually. Yeah, yes. trapdoor spider. It's oh, actually I don't terrible believe it. if you think about it. They're everywhere, all <laughs> over the earth. I don't think any spider builds a tunnel. Well, wait, you uh, need to get is, a is it, is, isn't there, shouldn't the ranger know that <laughs> is incorrect? <laughs> sure should. Yeah, isn't there literally a <laughs> spider a that, ranger. isn't there literally a spider that builds a trap door and yeah, rings out? Did you just hear, I just said trap, I just said <laughs> trap door, I just said that. <laughs> I've seen it on Animal Planet, it's I awesome. just <laughs> said the trap door <laughs> spider. Demon creature. <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes like. No. Oh, God. It and it's does. gone. And it's gone. Okay. Anyways, my point is, watch where you step. Make okay. sure you don't get entangled in the webs, right? And well, make sure you don't you step. send your angels up there? Make sure you don't step on the webs either, because sometimes it can be like, and like, and like the, the vibration, vibration goes all the way okay. through, and the spider's like, the spider's like, oh, it's like a dinner bell at a spider. All right. Well, and I don't want, I don't want to be dinner. Why would a spider steal um, a cat's bell? It doesn't make any sense. It's probably another guard or something. I don't know. Not I just don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna be the final boss. I think there might just be a spider in here we have to kill. That's it. Uh, all right. So what? What's the Either difference? Way, it's terrifying. <laughs> okay. Well, well what's I'm still that? betting the big bad creature. is a rabbit. All right. Well. Okay. Well, I mean, sure. I, I, I would rather fight a rabbit than a spider. I can't wait till we fight a rabbit. But for now, I'm terrified <laughs> of the spider. I'm We're just saying. Watch where you step. Don't step on the webs. All right. Okay, light just, them up. Just be Angels, careful. Please. They're please. they're leading the way, and I'm gonna um, keep on going in, Gore, while watching okay, hold on. where we step and everything. Oh my god! All righty, yeah. Okay, you really can... watch where you step now, all right? <laughs> There's nowhere else to step. We I mean, got a path right <laughs> up the middle. Hold on. You know what I should have done? Let me just do this. You know, fire will clear, will clear these out. I mean, I could I could fireball all the webbies. Okay. Now again, how about we? How about we start thinking things just one more step through? Okay, gang, can we maybe make a habit of that? <laughs> now, what happens if we light a fire in this very close quarters? Okay, well, what happens to us? We destroy the red. Right, and then then what happens? What happens? What, what, what's also made when fire is made? Smoke. Uh huh. And you're sending good, these good. forward still, of course. But what's the duration on this here? thing? Ten. Ten minutes. Okay, yeah, they're still up then. Yeah, we've only been here for like a minute, really, and you know. I mean, I, but if we if we back up, you know, then the, maybe we'll, we'll we'll smoke out the spiders and uh, you, you know, um, hurt them. <laughs> you know, again, not the worst idea I've heard today. <laughs> I was gonna say that. What is the worst idea you've heard, you've heard today? I is think, it the dagger one. I think we know what the answer to that question hey, is. You held the hilt as well. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. I'm, I'm a team player. You know how I feel about spiders. I'm just I'm not really excited about them. I know. I Maybe know. Maybe if we light them on fire. Can... Or that's just going to learn that we're here sooner and they can get ready. They can spring a trap. But but if we... It, it's the trap. It's right here. Is yeah. the trap yet? But if we try to go through them to be stealthy and we hit them, we'll get stuck and then they'll 
ambush us. Well, just don't hit them, sweetheart. What? I said. Yeah. I said to watch your step. Well, they're all they're all over. There's a path right down the middle. Um, not really. Well, I mean, there's like the little ants on them, but that's not. It's not <laughs> that, it's not what that I, sticky. What if I just take out a torch and go around to all these? I don't think that's going to be enough smoke to smoke us out. All right, give it a shot. Go for I mean, it. Watch where you stand. I could just fireball. I mean, okay. We don't need a fireball. Just yeah, do your torch. Safe, that's safe a good spells. idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll take out my torch. It probably looks more like a little match now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And you're going to light, light up the... You're gonna I'm going to light my li- torch. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I'll try it out on just one spider web, see what happens. Um, I mean, it doesn't like go up in flames, but it does kind of like shrink back. It's almost more like melted plastic than it is mm-hmm. like just an inferno, but it will destroy the web. Very nice. Keep going, little angels. I'll get the next one. <laughs> uh, they're not moving unless Fiffany moves. Um, I'll be keeping up with with Lyra here. Right, go ahead so and move yourself kinda... up then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you want these to kind of... And yeah, obviously they're, gonna... they're they're not hampered by any of that. Okay. Um... But... Leaping out of a side hole once you get visible... Oh, heavens. <laughs> Christy's your reaction is great. <laughs> A huge, big, nasty spider leaps out, and yes, it's a cute, it's a cute spider. It's a cute spider-ish, cute-ish. You should yeah, put like a little hat are... on it or something, you know? Oh, like so, a... um... oh, a little hat, like a little, like a little party hat. <laughs> oh, quit turning it around. There, how's that? <laughs> it's got a little spider face on it now. There you go, right? Yep. Oh, I thought I'm you were putting like a like a well brimly <laughs> mustache on it. You know? No, it's like but it's like smiling. We're not going to bust into <laughs> another combat right here, so that's a good place for us to stop tonight. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Just keep doing that till you, you can't. So it doesn't look like a spider <laughs> at all. <laughs> hey everyone, Shagget here. Thank you for watching our tenth campaign on how we roll set in Aconis. Uh, that means I've done ten of these outros. And while I usually try to be creative or unique or funny, I figured with the 10th one, I should just shoot straight. Uh, Especially considering this campaign is gearing up to be the funniest we've done. At least, I hope so. (laughs) I mean, how how, how would I know? Um, You can follow me on Twitter at Ineb underscore combos or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash shagit. Take solace in the fact that I didn't read off of a script this time. And that shows how bad this really is. But thanks. See you guys. Hi, I'm Jane, and I play Hello, Lyra Grant. Hello, it's me, it's me, Lyra, the legendary ranger, at your service. You know me already, but what you didn't know is I've been playing Jane on How We Roll for the past eight years now. I've done it, I've spoken my truth, I've let the cat out of the bag, all right? It's just me with a baseball cap on, that's it. Oh, no. So if you'd like to follow my character Jane on Twitter, you may do so at Jane on Twitch, with a zero, not an O. And you're probably wondering, Lyra, what's that beautiful crown that adorns your head? Well, when people start calling you queen, you must look the part. So dragons need slaying, people need saving, uh, yada yada yada, I have to go, so busy. All right, toodaloo, goodbye. Oh, um, and peace suckers. Our next and final contestant here at the Outro Olympics, Matt Petulo from How We Roll. He is bursting with potential, teeming with talent, but just can't get his technical game tightened up enough to bring home the gold. He's been working hard in the off season. Let's see if he can put something together here magical, bring home the gold. Streamer ready. Hi, the Snuggler. Instagram, that real term at underscore. Twitter, Maddie Sweet Tweet. Thank you for watching. Yes. Yes, he has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. What a great day for how we roll. What a great day for humankind. What do you know? All 20s. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. It is I, Christy. Uh, You may know me from such campaign as the last one. Anyway, 
Now that I'm a seasoned D&D player and streamer, I'm sure you're going to be wanting more of my excellent content. You can find me in that, but mostly me, on our D&D podcast, New Crits on the Block. And if you just can't get enough of my perfect eye for wit and whimsy, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Tactics. Anyway, I should get back to this delicious glass of 20s. Cheers! Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orc's Nest. I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, and if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter, at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and Dragons related. And of course, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Also guys, don't forget to keep up with all things How We Roll. Follow us on Twitter, at How We Roll. Check out the website, www.howweroll.com, and make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. Cheers, guys. Thank <sniffs> you.